how the NFL ruined American football in eight steps, in no particular order of importance. Number one, prohibiting excessive celebrations. Number two, having a rule book more stupid and complex than the U.S. tax code. Number three, creating rules that make NFL games more like flag football. If the NFL controlled boxing, they'd probably say you can only slap each other in the ring. For regular, average people out of the NFL, we get regular jobs, regular income, no fame, and potentially layoffs. For people in the NFL, they get millions, fame, women, and potentially concussions. We all need to make our decisions in life. So choose your career, sign a waiver, and move on so that we can have an enjoyable game that isn't flag football and has hits and where the quarterback isn't a princess in a protective bubble. The NFL, the no fun league. Number four, screwing over the taxpayers. The NFL legally has nonprofit status. Obviously, it isn't a nonprofit organization. The NFL pays its commissioner $40 million a year. Hamilton County, where the Bengals play, had to pay $26 million for the debt for the stadium. The county received $1 million from the team. The state of Minnesota gave the Vikings $506 million without receiving the team's financial data. Have you ever bought a house? The bank wants your soul before they even give you a mortgage. And the Vikings got $506 million without even providing any of their own financial data. The state of Louisiana provided $1 billion for the Saints' Superdome but the Saints owner keeps nearly all the revenue from the tickets and broadcasting rights. 70% of the cost of NFL stadiums, stadiums excuse me, are paid by taxpayers, not NFL owners. Many cities and states actually also pay for the ongoing costs for the stadiums. And we've all heard during each game that game images can't be used without the NFL's consent. Therefore, and I quote, under copyright law, entertainment created in publicly funded stadiums is private property. The NFL brags about its generosity for giving back $440,000 to veterans groups, while the NFL receives actually $1 billion from the public. The NFL, the non-profit football league, that creates more entertainment than sport while exploiting taxpayers. All of this information under step number four is from an amazing book by Greg Easterbrook called The King of Sports, Football's Impact on America. The fifth way that the NFL ruined American football, giving Electronic Arts exclusive license to create the official NFL football game. So basically, when EA comes out with a shitty Madden, we have no other choice. The NFL, a monopoly of professional American football in a country where monopolies are illegal, giving a monopoly for its video game. Number six, Thursday night games. They're not healthy for the players. They're unfair to the teams that have to play without the same rest days as other teams. They screw up fantasy football, and it's an obvious money grab. And money shouldn't be important. After all, the NFL is a nonprofit organization, like the Red Cross. Number seven, NFL games are significantly rigged. They're not rigged by the players or coaches, but by the higher levels, and it's done through the officials. You can call them the 13th man. Officiating mistakes change the outcome of games and are blatantly incorrect. New rules are created in the midst of a game that changes its outcome. Tuck rule, anyone? They also do it in the NBA. You can watch the Tim Donahue interview on 60 Minutes. 
And number eight, the last and final way that the NFL has screwed up American football is how they treated Barry Sanders. Okay, so we got to find out where he Oh, man, he destroyed the whole thing. <laughs> They're still there, dude. Okay. <laughs> that was just the crowd. Like, man, we need to get that alien on our team. <laughs> and these are the three weapons that I have. I've got dual cannons, a torpedo, and the third one is a turret. This nigga very possibly has weapons of mass destruction. Let's see what it looks like. It's actually quite attractive. <laughs> 